Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you see Betty? Yes, she's next to the pyramid. What's she doing? She's pointing at the camels. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. And which girl's Mary? Can you see the biggest camel? Yes. Well, Mary's standing next to it. What about David? David's standing next to the pyramid. Is he the boy who's laughing? No, that isn't him. David's taking photos. Where's Ben? He's trying to get on the camel. Oh, yes. It's difficult, isn't it? Look at Sally. Why? What's she doing? <laughs> She's just fallen off her camel. Oh, has she hurt her head? No, I think she's OK. Which boy is Richard? He's standing over there, next to that girl. Oh yes, he's whispering something to her. Yes, but I can't hear him. Now listen to part one again. And which girl's Mary? Can you see the biggest camel? Yes. Well, Mary's standing next to it. What about David? David's standing next to the pyramid. Is he the boy who's laughing? No, that isn't him. David's taking photos. Where's Ben? He's trying to get on the camel. Oh, yes. It's difficult, isn't it? Look at Sally. Why? What's she doing? <laughs> She's just fallen off her camel. Oh, has she hurt her head? No, I think she's OK. Which boy is Richard? He's standing over there, next to that girl. Oh, yes, he's whispering something to her. Yes, but I can't hear him. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to tell you about our school holiday. When are we going, miss? Well, we leave school on Monday morning, the 21st, very early at half past six, so please don't be late. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. We're going to do a lot of interesting things on holiday. What are we going to do first? Well, on Tuesday, we're going to visit a castle. Oh, that sounds good. Does anyone still live there? No, not now. It's very old. Yes, and on Wednesday, if there's enough snow, we're going to go sledging in the hills. Excellent! I love sledging. Thursday will be a quiet day. There's a museum which we're going to. I'm sure you'll all like it. Boring. Why can't we go to the cinema? Now, let me see. Friday. Ah, yes. On Friday, more sport. What are we going to do? Is it football? No, we're going to play volleyball. Oh, I like that. And last, on Saturday, we're going to go to the shops and you can all buy some presents to take home. Now listen to part two again. We're going to do a lot of interesting things on holiday. What are we going to do first? Well, on Tuesday, we're going to visit a castle. 
Oh, that sounds good. Does anyone still live there? No, not now. It's very old. Yes, and on Wednesday, if there's enough snow, we're going to go sledging in the hills. Excellent. I love sledging. Thursday will be a quiet day. There's a museum which we're going to. I'm sure you'll all like it. Boring. Why can't we go to the cinema? Now, let me see. Friday. Ah, yes. On Friday, more sport. What are we going to do? Is it football? No, we're going to play volleyball. Oh, I like that. And last, on Saturday, we're going to go to the shops and you can all buy some presents to take home. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Emma is looking after a little boy. She's telling him about the people in her family. What job does each person do? I'm going to study hard this evening like you. It's important. Then you can get a good job. What does your dad do, Emma? He's a mechanic. He looks after all the cars in the family. He loves his job. Can you see the letter G? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. My uncle came to see us last week. He works very hard and has to be outside all the time. He's a farmer, so he lives in the country, but he doesn't have any animals. He grows beans and other vegetables there. I couldn't do that kind of work. My mum works hard too. Does she? Yes. She paints pictures for all kinds of books. She enjoys her job because she has to draw so many different things. She's just done all the pictures for a story about a dentist with funny teeth. They talk when he doesn't want to. I can read it to you if you like. And I've got a famous cousin. He's got a good job. What does he do? He sings in a group. He's very rich. He just bought a new guitar and a new car. He drove me to college in it last week. All the girls were shouting his name when I got out. My sister's just started an interesting job. What does she do? She flies planes. It took five years for her to learn, but she loves being a pilot because it's so exciting. There aren't many women who do her job, so she feels important too. My brother's good at his job. He works for a newspaper, but he doesn't have to write. That's good because he can't spell. Writing and spelling is hard for me too. I know. He takes photos of famous people. He has to go to lots of football matches, concerts and other things like that. I go with him sometimes. Wow! Now listen to part three again. My uncle came to see us last week. He works very hard and has to be outside all the time. He's a farmer, so he lives in the country, but he doesn't have any animals. He grows beans and other vegetables there. I couldn't do that kind of work. My mum works hard too. Does she? Yes. She paints pictures for all kinds of books. She enjoys her job because she has to draw so many different things. She's just done all the pictures for a story about a dentist with funny teeth. They talk when he doesn't want to. I can read it to you if you like. And I've got a famous cousin. He's got a good job. What does he do? He sings in a group. He's very rich. He just bought a new guitar and a new car. He drove me to college in it last week. All the girls were shouting his name when I got out. 
My sister's just started an interesting job. What does she do? She flies planes. It took five years for her to learn, but she loves being a pilot because it's so exciting. There aren't many women who do her job, so she feels important too. My brother's good at his job. He works for a newspaper, but he doesn't have to write. That's good because he can't spell. Writing and spelling is hard for me too. I know. He takes photos of famous people. He has to go to lots of football matches, concerts and other things like that. I go with him sometimes. Wow! That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. Where is John's bed in hospital? Excuse me, Doctor. I've come to visit John. Where is he, please? Oh, yes. John's bed is at the end. I can't see him. On the right, next to the window. Thank you. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. What has John broken? Hello, John. Do you feel better? Hello, May. I'm OK, but I still can't walk. So, can you do your homework? No, my arm's fine. But I can't see very well. I broke my glasses. 2. What happened to John? How did it happen? Were you playing football? No, I was riding my bike. Did you fall off? Yes, I was going too fast. And I didn't see the car coming around the corner. 3. What has May bought for John? Is it very boring in hospital? Well, it's OK because I've got some books to read. Here's a CD for you to listen to. No, oh, thanks. I heard this on the radio. It's great. 4. Who is John's favourite nurse? Are the nurses nice? Yes, they're all nice, but I like that one over there best. The nurse with the blonde hair? No, the nurse with brown hair. Can you see her? She's not very tall. 5. What's John going to have for dinner tonight? And what about the food here? Well, it's OK. Yesterday we had pizza, which was nice. What are you going to have tonight? Some chicken and salad. I only had a sandwich for lunch and I'm very hungry. Now listen to part four again. 1. What has John broken? Hello, John. Do you feel better? Hello, May. I'm OK, but I still can't walk. So, can you do your homework? No, my arm's fine. But I can't see very well. I broke my glasses. 2. What happened to John? How did it happen? Were you playing football? No, I was riding my bike. Did you fall off? Yes, I was going too fast. And I didn't see the car coming around the corner. 3. What has May bought for John? Is it very boring in hospital? Well, it's OK because I've got some books to read. Here's a CD for you to listen to. Oh, thanks. I heard this on the radio. It's great. 4. Who is John's favourite nurse? Are the nurses nice? Yes, they're all nice, 
but I like that one over there best. The nurse with the blonde hair? No, the nurse with brown hair. Can you see her? She's not very tall. Five. What's John going to have for dinner tonight? And what about the food here? Well, it's OK. Yesterday we had pizza, which was nice. What are you going to have tonight? Some chicken and salad. I only had a sandwich for lunch and I'm very hungry. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Can you see the woman? Yes. She's making a fire. Shall I colour it? Yes. Colour it red. Can you see the red fire? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw. One. There are three bats sleeping in the cave. I can see them. Look at the bat on the left. Yes. Draw three spots on it. OK. Two. Can you see the boys playing with the dog? There are two boys. Yes. Well, look at the fatter boy. OK. Now colour his face blue. Blue? <laughs> yes. Three. Would you like to do some more colouring? Yes, please. Find the picture of the tiger on the wall. Right. And colour its stripes yellow and black. OK. Four. Now for some more drawing. Good. Can you see the empty space on the left of the wall? Yes. Shall I draw something there? Yes. Draw a snake. Five. Can I do some more colouring? Of course you can. The man's painting a horse. Shall I colour this? Yes. Colour it purple. Now listen to part five again. One. There are three bats sleeping in the cave. I can see them. Look at the bat on the left. Yes. Draw three spots on it. OK. Two. Can you see the boys playing with the dog? There are two boys. Yes. Well, look at the fatter boy. OK. Now colour his face blue. Blue? <laughs> yes. Three. Would you like to do some more colouring? Yes, please. Find the picture of the tiger on the wall. Right. And colour its stripes yellow and black. OK. Four. Now for some more drawing. Good. 
Can you see the empty space on the left of the wall? Yes. Shall I draw something there? Yes. Draw a snake. Five. Can I do some more colouring? Of course you can. The man's painting a horse. Shall I colour this? Yes. Colour it purple. That is the end of the flyer's practice listening test, too.